Today, July the 15th, Mauritius is on its first phase of reopening its borders. And this first phase of reopening means a lot for the tourism industry, an industry which rakes in about 63.1 million rupees in a normal year. Now, after almost 16 months of closure following the COVID-19 pandemic, now vaccinated tourists will be allowed to come in and stay for a minimum of 14 days in a COVID-free hotel. Even if you're not expecting huge numbers, that means a lot for an industry which employs almost 100,000 people. Tourism accounts for 25% of GDP. Um, and so it's one of the main pillars of the economy. So um, having absolutely uh, no revenue from, from a key industry, of course, is uh, um, very problematic for a country like Mauritius. We know very well that the, 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 the July to September period is going to more or less be a test period. So uh, we expect demand to more or less ramp, ramp up as uh, from October. And this is precisely what we are seeing uh, in terms of uh, bookings coming in uh, when we talk to the different uh, uh, private operators. Moving from the first phase, we reached the second phase on the 1st of October, where once you land, provided you're vaccinated and your PCR test is negative on arrival, you'll be around to roam around in the Indian Ocean Island. And that means a bigger boost to the uh, economy and that will allow the economy to kickstart after a 15% contraction uh, last year, which is the worst performance in 40 years. I'm Kamrish Bakori in Mauritius for Bloomberg News.